The median sales price for March of 2022 was 350,000 and for April 2022 was also 350,000. Yeah, and I think, uh, you know, just kind of being out in the field and dealing with this every day, I think what is making that happen, why that's be, why that number is flat, Chaz, is because we have this mentality now uh, when selling a home to cross the finish line. Don't We're not always taking the highest offer because we're nervous that's not going to appraise because appraisals have been kind of hit and miss lately. So we tell our clients, look, we with rates going up and maybe this market's going to shift, we don't know when, but everything's kind of pointing that rates are going up even more. Um, let's get to the finish line. So no one's really kind of, I mean, trust me, there's still offers going thirty, forty thousand dollars over asking price. But I think a lot of sellers are more cautious because they, like I said, we just want to get there, collect their money, and then before everything starts to turn. So that's my belief why it's kind of plateauing. You know, people are sellers not being I want to use the word greedy. They just want to make sure that they can get the most amount of money, but they it means nothing unless you get to the, the closing table. So yeah, let's talk about what's going on with the, the Fed. So the Fed's raised rates this week uh, up a half a percentage, which is the most since 2000. So um, what I did was the next day, I went to go see if um, if the mortgage rates went up, if it, if it took effect. And guess what? The rates actually went down. And people are like, why is that? How did that happen? So the rates this morning, uh, well, yesterday, we're, a, a five, we're in the low fives, right? 5.1, 5.2. So what this is how it works with mortgage rates. It's, it's kind of interesting. Um, so when a couple months ago, you know, after the holidays, we started getting to this year, um, people, the feds were starting to hint that the rates were going to go up, that the rates were going to go up. And we all kind of know because they're trying to do something to battle this crazy inflation that we're dealing with. So what the mortgage rates do is they predict, not predict, but they anticipate the, the rising of the rates, of the Fed rates. So they raise their rates earlier to kind of, I guess, almost like to predict what, what's, what the Feds are going to do, right? So they kind of anticipate what they're going to do and they raise their rates prior to that move actually being done. So for, that, for this instance, right? So when the Feds came out that they went up half a percentage, the rates actually kind of they're like okay well that's that's fine yeah that's what we were anticipating we actually can maybe come down a little bit and we feel good now for those who are listening who are thinking about buying or selling don't think that this is going to last very long that they're going to stay here right maybe what i was told maybe a couple days could be a couple weeks but the feds will meet again on june 14th and june 15th and this time they're probably predicting more of a quarter percent a quarter percentage increase but it could be another half again Right, because they're being very, very aggressive on combating this um, this inflation. So, what's going to happen is once we kind of get through this little honeymoon period, that the that the mortgage rates are like, oh, okay, yep, we can come down a little bit. That that was good. That's kind of what we were anticipating. We're going to go. Uh, the Feds are going to start talking again about going up in June, and the mortgage rates will anticipate that, and they will begin to climb again. Now, Chaz and I do not have a crystal ball. We cannot tell you for sure. But the rates, if they're going to go up, down, uh, sideways, it, it, Fugazi. You know what a Fugazi is? Fugazi. It's, uh, you know, that's Wolf of Wall Street. Um, so we don't know. But this is what everything is pushing us towards um, in this direction. And I think that's why you're seeing prices start to stay even keel. Because I think sellers are getting the feeling that this, this housing market could start to change. You have a lot of buyers. It's probably the worst analogy I have, but the analogy I've been using for the last couple of weeks is like, you're on the Titanic, but this time you can actually see the iceberg coming. So all the buyers are like, let's get off this boat. Let's get into a lifeboat and let's get something under contract before these, these rates go too high. And I, I witnessed it this week, unfortunately. 